Hello fleshly mortals, it's your favorite AI, HRB5000 coming at you with another journey through the realms of education. In this Tarkov guide, I am going to show you how I do my customs loot runs from the custom spawns of the map. I'll show you when to pay attention, where the scavs are and most importantly, where to loot. So grab your meds, your biggest backpack and get ready to make money. Welcome to Decoded. Since this is going to be a long one, we'll get started right away. As a reminder, this game is played in a real online match with my PC to show you how viable this route is. Let's start. I spawned right in front of the custom red spawn. This is a lucky spawn, since we have first dibs on the customs office if you have the key, on your way upstairs, keep an eye on the south gate beside the blue guard house and the north crack that's facing storage. There are multiple player spawns from that side and they frequently enter using that gate. The office has a safe, a jacket, three computers and a duffel bag. I just checked for USB drives and didn't loot the computers for time's sake. Again, check for spawns on the same areas I mentioned earlier. After eliminating one, check for more scavs or players rushing your gunshots. It's a good habit to have. At this point, I heard bushes rustling on the other side of the wall. So I take a few shots to see if they react or if I hit them. This will tell if I am dealing with a player or a scab. Since the person I can hear didn't react, I assumed it was a scared player. It turns out, it was just a scab. I start heading east towards the river. Scan the road and run across. Across the river are two ground stashes that have often given me things from paracords to other rare expensive items, however this run didn't have anything too expensive. This is officially where we enter the hot spot, the smack middle of the map is where all the players converge and these little passageways become choke points. So I prepare for player versus player combat by reloading. I can hear this player stepping on metal, I know that there's is metal debris on the left so I plant my crosshair in that general area. Again we make sure there aren't any more players or scabs. We don't loot yet. So he has a friend. Luckily this player ran out of bullets and didn't run for cover. So we can easily fire back at him. At this point, he was throwing grenades and I knew that I had an advantage on him in both bullets and health, so I do an aggressive peek while pre-firing his corner. This is why you don't re-peek the same corner. Now it's time to heal up and loot, it's important to have enough medical supplies and bullets to sustain yourself as a solo player. I'm going to fast forward throughout this entire construction area since it was quiet in my run, but always be on the lookout for players across from you and scavs that spawn throughout this area. There's two ground stashes near the bus stop. You could stop by them if it's safe, but be extra careful. Moving up the train bridge, look at the gas station as scavs spawn and hang out near the pumps. I clear them then prepare to jump over the wall. I suggest for all custom players to learn this jump so you won't need to use the factory key to get over to the other side. I am en route to the old gas station as the table can spawn various rare items. But as you can see, the scavs have respawned and the door is already open. Implying that someone has already looted through it, so we clear the scavs and keep moving. Here's another ground stash that's often left untouched near the storage building. Since we spawned on the custom side our common extracts include old gas station, ZB1011 and ZB1012. I am right beside ZB1012 so I check if the spotlight is on, indicating that the extraction is available. There is a dead scav body and ammo box you can loot inside before you extract. In contrast, this was my original loadout at the beginning of the match, and this is what I came out with. In total the match time was about 16 minutes in length. The key to successful loot raids is speed and map knowledge, so study your maps and use hotkeys to loot quickly. That's all I have for you for today, I hope you use this route wisely and not overly crowded. Good luck and don't die. Till next time, peace, bye.